Hi, I'm Vanessa. I'm Lena. I'm Nurul. I'm Constant. We'd like to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing with us which stories resonated with you the most. Maybe you're a lion mom, like me. Or maybe you were raised by a lion parent, like I was. Or maybe you just know someone who was. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> but these stories are as much yours as they are ours. A while back, we asked some fans of the show to let us know which Lion Mom's character or story they resonated with the most and we were blown away by their response. We've invited some fans over to share their stories with us. My name is Jeanette and um, I've been watching Lion Mom since uh, season one. But season three and four had a lot of uh, human factors that dealt with uh, a mum and that, that was quite quite close to my heart. I'm Jaylene, I have been watching Lion Moms for the past six days. I started with season three episode one and I just got addicted to it. I used to be a single mother, uh, I was divorced before and um, when I was a single mom raising my daughter, I was in the finance industry so I was also having a very hectic work life and I really neglected my daughter. We used to play every weekend. Board games, card games, go out for picnics. I know, baby. But look, mommy has a really important job now. Okay, so I need your help too. I am currently a stepmom, so I'm also learning how to co-parent with my husband's ex and my ex-husband as well. Hi, I'm Brenda. I have three kids. So one is three and one is 14 and one is 17. So I can relate to different kids in the show and the stresses of the mom trying to manage the different things. Season 3 particularly was uh, what Chilean was going through for her divorce, like how difficult it was to explain things to your kids. Uh, that was really something I, I had to go through as well. Because um, it's hard to explain to your kid like why you need to so-called break up the family. What do you want? Get that back. What? You want me to transfer to Anson High? I want that back in our lives. Although it's no fault of yours, but you still you are the one that has to break the bad news to your kids, you know. And and it's hard when they have to have an incomplete family thereafter. So that that's something that was not easy to do and I could understand what uh, Chilean was going through in, in that, in that uh, period of time. Mommy, have you heard from Dad? He's very busy at the moment. He said he'll call us soon. The time I had to break it up to my kid, uh, I waited actually until she was 12 and after her PSLE to actually break it to her because I didn't want um, it to affect her in, in her studies. Like, wow, she waited 11 years, my goodness, I yeah. don't know how to, heart broke. how to endure that 11 years. Initially, she was quite upset because she said, uh, why did I keep her in the dark for so long? She's old enough to understand why, why did I not trust her to tell her. When she married her new husband, right, uh, there are also times that the husband got frustrated. And then he mentioned things like, uh, when am I going to have a say? I have two stepchildren. Both of them technically are also my children, so I cannot, but I cannot scold them. And I just have to like, let other people handle it. So that's the difficult part and I can really understand why the husband feels so frustrated and then causes some dispute in their marriage. At least everything I went through before. Yeah, so when I just got married with my husband, I have to just keep quiet and let my husband do the disciplining uh, and that feeling suck, you know. We thought you wanted us to help out more. Uncle Binghan said we could after our homework. Even if he says so, doesn't mean it's okay. Uncle Binghan might be your stepdad, but I am your mom. You should always ask me first. Because my daughter, especially the one from my divorce marriage, she's very used to the way I parent, like how I discipline her, how I'm quite strict with her. So. When my stepchildren enter our family, right, uh, their discipline method has been very different from mine. I would say it's quite relaxed and free and easy. So when they come to, to my family, I become like a devil, you know. <laughs> but at the same time, I have to explain to them and stick to my grounds that I'm just trying to 
love them and guide them to be uh, good at their studies, to do well in life. So it's, it's pretty hard on that part to make them understand but at the same time continuing my what, what I believe in. I think one of the characters like um, Chaelian related to me because you know in the first few seasons you feel like she's quite cold, she's controlling, she is fierce and she's strict and she didn't give her kids any freedom. You can see her grow throughout the seasons where she has her own vulnerable side and you see that she needs the support, she needs the friends, she needs the relationships to actually keep her going and, and that multiple aspects of it Actually, I relate a lot to it in terms of managing the kids because we need that, that group. We can't just focus on our kids and, and get too caught up with everything in it. I'm sorry. I never wanted to hurt you. I was angry and an angry state. So I think that that related to me because we all grow like that. We make some mistakes and then we, we tend to be overly strict at the start. And in the end, we know that kids are still humans and we need to give them the space. We need to show care as well. Hi, we have to look strong on our characters very well. Hello. How are you? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You are real life, mom. In real life. I, I said I have a bit of me, but maybe a bit more sometimes. <laughs> I was raised by a single mom. My parents split when I was 10. 